work with Simon. He'll get you in there. And he won't have you go through the drums, like just, he'll have you just play a beat. He'll be like, hey man, can you play a bit of time? That's what he always asks, can you play a bit of time? So give him a bit of time on the kit, like, and like, you know, you go for it. And then like he's dialed the drums before you know it. And then he's got everyone else sorted. And then he's just like, why don't you just play a bit of a song and figure out your ear mix? And by the time you've played that song, your stuff was already so good anyway, like in the ears and the, the, the stuff that he's sending back to you. Yeah, that, that could be a take. Come and have a listen, you go and have a listen, you're like, fuck, that's banging. So it's pretty nuts how he kind of, he's worked with so many artists, I'm sure he's worked with difficult people, easy people, rookies, like everyone from super experienced, talented musicians, probably worked with producers who are playing, you know, but he just knows how to get the best at you. So for, for us, we went in this time, and that happened, and we went in the booth and listened, and I was like, fucking hell. It sounded so intense and energetic, and so even I listened, you know, to the songs back, and I'm like, it sounds a little bit pitchy, like Lee's digging in on his guitar, and you know, like the songs like sped up a bit, we didn't do any click, you know, but like, no one gave a shit because it's just real. What we wanted to be is, real people playing live, recreating their songs. And when you do that, that means that you get adrenaline and the song might speed up or you might over hit a bit or you might dig in on the guitar so that it bends a bit out of tune. But like that's real humans playing real instruments. And so for me, when I heard those like imperfections in the session, it made it more real and energetic for me. So I was like, fuck yes. I'm into that, like Lee's like blowing his voice out. You can hear him just like going for it full, full saturation. So yeah, I, uh, I love that. I feel like that hasn't been present before in the past, you know, so um, it's fucking awesome. I just wanna be somewhere you're not, but you'll find me anyway. Can you see there's nothing left to say? But you call me every day I have nothing left to give to you Just like a leech you let me do Life you choose to live is such a lie But you'll never realize Can you hear that I'm not listening? Do you see that I don't care?
for me, it's incredible to record there. I'm proper Nirvana and Zeppelin geek. So, like, on the wall, there was a, you know, a picture of Zeppelin recording at, you know, MV4, like the Room 4. So seeing that on the wall, even just looking at that and then going in to do another song, you know, was just incredible to see. And, you know, I grew up with Nirvana and Incesticide and that, you know, like four or five songs on that record were recorded with John Peel made a veil. So it's just kind of crazy that studio has that magic that it's just everything in there is old still. It's exactly the same as it's been for years and years. So it was just... Um, it was just amazing to use the same gear and like have that magic come through on our stuff. So it was good. Just being in the presence of, of greatness, like there's certain places that become hollowed ground and that was one for me. Like it's, it smashed my, um, my bucket list. It was like, I guess I have to rewrite it. It was just fucking incredible. <laughs> We've got to get him out of here, the cops are coming for him. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! That's all I wanted to say. <laughs>